Let's start in Mission, Texas. The situation at the U.S.-Mexico border was already in crisis mode. 1.5 million people have crossed illegally into the U.S. in less than a year. Now it's a crisis for the Biden administration. The president facing criticism from Democrats over his recent deportation of Haitian migrants. More than 13,000 were camped at one time under a bridge in Texas, but he's being slammed by Republicans who say he hasn't done enough to quell the influx of people coming across the border. Our Leland Vitter is live in Mission, Texas. Leland, you have a highway patrol officer with you right now. Tell us what you're seeing. Uh, hey, Adrian, we're out here on the Rio Grande River right now. Behind me, the United States over there in Mexico with Lieutenant Chris Olivares of the Texas Department of Public Safety. Uh, do we really need all these weapons, first of all? It's essential to what these guys do every day. So we're with our tactical marine unit. Right now, they patrol the Rio Grande River. Um, it's essential for their job uh, to be fully equipped on these boats. They not, not only have fully automatic weapons, but they also have non-lethal weapons as well. you got to assume that the cartel has the same thing on the other side. Right. The cartel has military good weapons as well, so they have to have, they have to match whatever they have. So much of the discussion has been that this is a crisis right now on the southern border. Is it an avoidable crisis? It is, because there, there could be policies put in place to prevent what's happening right now. But as we know right now, nothing has been done by the federal government. So the state of Texas is stepping in. And this is one part, one vital part of this operation is our tactical marine unit. You think about when you say nothing's been done by the federal government, the border patrol that we've been out with over the past couple of days, they seem much more like processing clerks than patrolling. So now right. the patrols are up to you guys. Right. Right, exactly. So they're being pulled from the field to process. So now we're having to, our state troopers are having to go out in the field and look for these illegal immigrants, criminals. And now with our boats, it's the same thing. They're having to patrol the river to try to detect and deter any criminal activity from taking place. Drug smuggling, human smugglers that are coming across the river. It, it seems as though the, the concept of stopping illegal immigration we've given up on. Now it's just about drugs, guns. Etc. Right. That's our primary focus as a state agency is to focus on the criminal activity, the human trafficking, the drug, smug the drug smuggling. That is our primary focus for now. And we've obviously encountered a few people over the weekend. For every one or two drug smugglers or people being smuggled uh, in or weapons you find, how many do you figure get through? There's at least two or three that are getting by us, whatever we're catching. They're, they're, they're matching what we're doing. So it's a whack-a-mole. Yes, exactly. How do you, is there a way to get ahead of this if you don't have the backup from the federal government? In policies? Well, we, the good, I mean, we have the support from our, you know, from Governor Greg Abbott. We have the support from the Texas legislators that provide resources, you know, to the state. But obviously, right now, the federal government is not providing resources uh, to the state. So we're having to fill that void, filling those gaps by providing the resources that we have to secure the border as much as possible. Resources that could be used to be protecting Texans and other parts of the right, state exactly. as well. All right, Lieutenant, thank you very much. Coming up at 8:30, Adrian, we're going to take a little bit of a look at the policies of the Biden administration, both sides of that. Also show you what it's like at night out here on the border as we were with some of these guys uh, chasing people who'd come across some with drugs some without all right thank you so much leland yeah it's, it's a mix a mix of criminals and those desperate to come to safety here in the u.s